after so much time looking for her and researching, we'd finally found the remains of HMS Hawk. Most shipwrecks of that age have collapsed in and resemble not much more than junk heaps with interesting bits and pieces and artefacts, but this was fully intact. Her guns are still there, the propellers are still in place, the hull is still very intact. The divers were uh, uh, amazed at how intact she was. She was a, a British cruiser. Uh, she was quite old for her time served in the First World War. She was built in 1891. She was sunk by the U-9, which fired one of her torpedoes and hit the Hawk square on the starboard side, causing the damage. The Hawk sunk within eight minutes. 524 sailors were lost. There was only 70 survivors. She was large, 7,000 tonnes, about 120 metres long, and is really one of the last, if not the last, First World War cruisers to be found. We were able to put a final, let's say, full stop uh, to the end of her story looks frozen in time. Another bit of history in this story, before the ship sank, it had collided with another ship called the RMS Olympic. The captain of that ship went on to become the captain of the Titanic.